I'm excited to be part of this movement. Um, I think we're uh, we're at like a, a an inflection point, a turning point. Um, you've seen these these folks kind of coming together virtually. Um, a lot of people are doing new things with. Uh, the web, with software, with data, uh, with opening up government. Um, there's a new administration, there's a new kind of air, a, a new feeling in the air of uh, the possibility of opening things up to make government work better. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I do a lot of work with the Sunlight Foundation. I've been involved from the beginning, and, you know, this is a really exciting uh, um, kind of culmination and taking us to another level moment inside government who understand that part of their job or all of their job is to make government more accessible to the public and then there are people who are even interested in inviting the public in to help collaborate in making government work better. Um, so, you know, that's a really good, it's, it's a really healthy thing when, when you see that barrier uh, getting lowered. Um, and so I give them a lot of credit for being here. And it's also really cool to see, you know, some really hardcore geeks uh, who, um, you know, they could be doing anything they want. They're the wizards of, of our time. And for them to decide, you know, to give their skills to this cause is, is really a great thing, too. Yeah, they're bringing that mentality of, you know, these are solvable problems also. You know, I, I spent a lot of time earlier in my life uh, in what you might call traditional politics, uh, you know, on the left, but uh, seeing a lot of frustration, seeing a lot of people who kind of were doing the same thing over and over, banging their head against the wall, not getting something done, and getting frustrated, and here you've got people who are used to making things work, and who are used to, you know, every couple of years there's a revolution in how we do stuff, um, and that... And along the way, these revolutions are changing how we behave and how we relate to each other and how we communicate and how we organize. Um, and so what I see this as being part of is, is that the movement, the larger social movement, of, uh, you know, power moving to the edges as technology just puts more power in, the, in my pocket, you know, than, than uh, that went to the moon. Um, that as that happens, now people start turning it on the thing that, that matters most to them, which is what do we do with each other to solve the big problems? That's what government is supposed to be. It hasn't worked that well for the last couple of decades, but now we have a chance to kind of get in there and retool it. You know, there's actually a lot of things that we can agree on across partisan divide, and they're, they're a small group of people, I think, who benefit from... Uh, you know, making it difficult for each side to talk to the other, and if you actually sit down with someone who's of the opposite point of view, you may discover that you agree about more things than you disagree, and frankly, obviously we do. We agree about democracy. We agree about, you know, working the way we work as a society. You know, we're not... If we didn't, we'd all be throwing rocks and hand grenades at each other. Um, and so making the democratic process work better, which is what transparency is, make the system more accountable, make it more engaging to citizens, whatever their view, that is by definition a cross-partisan, you know, that, that's a meta-political uh, kind of cause. Um, and, you know, so it is kind of neat. I mean, that you know, to have people here from the left and the right and the middle and, and you know, some who probably don't have a explicit politics who fit on that spectrum, it's wonderful.